Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I will be sharing with you my September beauty favorites. But let's dive in into my September favorites. First things first, it is this amazing refresher by Starbucks. <laughs> I'm late to the game. Who introduced me to this first was my oldest daughter Mia and this was back in Florida. It was really hot and she ordered one and was like oh this is really good and then I completely forgot and then what was it like a a week ago or so my youngest daughter she had a play day with you know little little friends from her school and they asked me to go to starbucks so i took them to starbucks they got their cake pop and my daughter said i want that pink drink but when she said the pink drink i read on the top is pink drink but i remember you know i what are you talking about and she said it was a pink drink that the one that we drink in florida with mia and I'm like, well, that was kind of more fuchsia. So I explained it to the barista and she got it. And she said, oh, that's the dragon fruit. And this is so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to go in order here. But I'm telling you, I don't feel ashamed to tell you that I absolutely in love and obsessed with this lipstick by Chanel. It is the Terriwang Rouge lipstick. It is made out of glass, but heavy glass. I don't, I don't think, I mean, like, I haven't tried <laughs> right, to drop it. I don't think it's gonna shatter completely. If you drop it, obviously, you have to be careful with it. It comes with this little pouch. You can also get the set. It has been really hard for me to get the set because they sent a few to boutiques, some boutiques they got sold out and some boutiques they only received a few of the refills because this lipstick, um, you can buy the refills. If you're wondering if you can twist up the refill, you cannot. I mean, <laughs> here Chanel got really smart, so you have to buy the case. But anyhow, um, basically, if you get your hands on the set, you get a full size one, in addition of two refills. But like I was saying, some of the boutiques didn't get the refills, so I couldn't get my limited edition one. And uh, you know what, at this point in time, I kind of care less because I went to the boutique of Beverly Hills to check the 23K collection, which I have a blog on it. It was a lot of fun. I got something, I know I still need to do the unboxing, I just haven't had the chance to do so, but I was able to check on the cases they are leather cases they look pretty but you know what i actually like this black one even better i feel in a way that is more chanel you know with that diamond quilting for some reason but anyhow talking about the actual lipstick and the formulation it is so thin opaque but this shade in particular has just a tiny bit of like a pearlescent finish and that doesn't mean that is metallic or anything like that but it looks just gorgeous on the lips i'm really really in love and then i was able to test a few of the shades i like a couple of them so i may be adventurous to get a couple refills later on but nothing that i'm gonna be like oh i have to do it immediately since we're on the topic of lipstick and chanel well this beauty is the rouge allure lac it is from the holiday 2023 collection yes i know <laughs> No, I got my hands on it uh, through a Chanel boutique, actually. It is available, I think, in a few. I don't know. I, I heard some of you were not able to get your hands on it. I don't know if perhaps in such boutique, they didn't get just yet the collection, but many boutiques, they have them. So you're able to get it through a boutique or I will keep you posted. That's another thing. When I uploaded my video reviewing the collection, a lot of you were like, I want to get it right now and I totally get it but unfortunately at the time that I uploaded the video it wasn't available on the website so I left the link to the home page of the new releases and I will keep you posted here on my community tab that's why it's super super important to subscribe to the channel with your post notification bell on because my community tab kind of serves as an Instagram a story that basically I let you know right away hey this just came in a stock this is a new launch here's an early access it's a really easy and fast way to communicate and same thing well if you're in Instagram then come and follow me on my new Instagram account hey it's Jacqueline here but anyhow I promise you that this is gonna be available perhaps even when I'm uploading this video it may be already available at the website and other retailers but I will let you know so stay in communication but this is one of the lipstick shades 
very beautiful it does have a little bit of kind of like a peachy undertone it is as well pearlized very thin in consistencies and one thing that i really enjoy about this lipstick in particular is that we always think in the holiday yes you will get your red tones as per usual i mean we're talking about chanel but i really love that they included this kind of like peachy golden tone because at least myself when it's the holiday season not always but at times i get to go say to my country right and it's summertime in there and i don't want to use necessarily i mean yes a red lipstick why not you know it's the holiday season but i may want to use something a little that evokes a little bit more summertime or if i'm going to a tropical place and i think this does it it's limited edition though so if you really like it i would highly suggest you to go for it another product that i have been loving a lot is this amicole lip oil it's a lip treatment and oh my gosh it's so so good it's very nourishing easy to apply you don't even need you know a mirror and it just hugs your lips in the most beautiful way look at the shine that is giving to my lips it is incredible i'm in love it doesn't feel sticky it doesn't although um it gives so much coverage to the lips in terms of how it hacks the lips it doesn't like melt you know outside the lip that the outer line of your lip area and it really it it's really a treatment you can feel that treatment you know what i have this in front of me and i have to tell you I went ahead and upgrade finally. I had my cell phone was a iPhone XX, no, sorry, XS Max. <laughs> Big one, old one from like what, six years or more. And I have been just waiting and waiting. I mean, like, as long as my phone is working, I'm like, I don't need to upgrade. I, I just don't feel the need of it, right? But when this iPhone 15 Pro came, the camera is what it got me. I really wanted it something that let me do, you know, my reels, my TikToks, videos in general, and just photography the in the best way possible. And honestly, I mean, an iPhone now is not like what, you know, a mobile phone used to be. Literally, you're buying it for the technology, mostly the camera, and that's what it's costing the most. But I'm enjoying it so, so much the quality of the image it is impeccable fantastic and i really love the size too so i was thinking to get the pro max but i decided to go for the pro although there's just a minimal change i know you can zoom to 5x with a pro max and i'm thinking well if i'm going to a concert i may have enjoyed that but in a way i had the biggest phone for a long time and it was kind of uncomfortable even to record some stuff when i'm doing you know close-ups of like a lipstick something that is very small it is hard because it's just so chunky and sometimes i use i mean i have all size of bags but sometimes i use a small bag and it will not fit comfortably this one does, and I bought this case also in the Apple store. It's just a pink case. I really love that it's silicone, super soft, but I'm so happy with my purchase that I just wanna mention it to you. Okay, friends, let's go for fragrance. Oh my gosh, this is the Eat Girl fragrance to me. It's Burberry Goddess. Oh, this is so good. It has this trinity of vanilla. So vanilla, absolute, um, caviar vanilla, which is the pot of the vanilla, basically. Lavender, but when you hear lavender, you may think, oh, this must be a masculine kind of fragrance. It's not. It's actually, it's gorgeous. It's feminine. It's it's a little bit sweet. It has a little bit of that sweetness in it, but not too much. Is is that fragrance that a man? I I know because my husband and you know they go around and they like my employees. They ask me what what are you wearing? Your smell your smells so good that you want to be around that girl. The eat girl and it's not overwhelming it's not like oh this is too sweet too vanilla gourmand no 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 it's it's one that is fresh a little bit perhaps even powdery but in the best way possible i don't like powdery scents because sometimes they tend to smell like too old-fashioned i'm not like that this is 
perfection. So if you want a really good transitional fragrance or you just simply do not enjoy wearing overwhelming very deep intense intense not that this will not last it actually lasts a good amount of hours i would say a solid five hours that you can smell it on yourself and then after that people can get a whiff of it but what i meant with intense is you know those some, there's some fragrances that are very very intense and sometimes you know it can be headache inducing if you don't want anything like that and you want a perfect fragrance for fall highly highly suggestion now if you are more into like the sweet a little bit more gourmand and you want to smell like a beautiful snack like a lemon cookie a lemon tart lira by casa morati wow this is phenomenal too it does have that little bit of a lemon scent i think vanilla caramel this is more gourmand, but you know what? It also opens very fresh and it's very smooth. I feel that this one has even a little bit of meringue on top um, with perhaps, you know, that caramelized meringue, a little bit goldeny. Super smooth, very attractive. You will get compliments. This one, you have to over spray it a little. I mean, to be honest with you. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by anybody, but I just like to mention that a lot of the products that I have, I have bought them. Some of them, they have sent them to me. And with a lot of these, I do have discount codes and I put them all in the description box below. So I put the link, I put my code, etc. So this one you can find, I mean, many retailers, but Twisted Lily also carries Casa Morati, which is the house of Sergeoff. And I do have a discount code with them. So if you want to get, I don't know, even some samples, because you don't need to purchase right away, you know, a full bottle if you're not planning to, and you just want to smell even like some discovery sets, you know, just little vial samples, they have them. So Anyhow, friends, this is phenomenal. And then along the lines to Lyra, one that got me by surprise is Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. And this one is one that I didn't purchase. It actually um, is funny because I asked Mia, my oldest daughter, to go to Ulta to get me something. I honestly don't even remember what was it that I asked her to get me. Something. And then she came back and told me, oh, mom, by the way, I charge your car and I spend something more. I'm like, what you got? And she got this fragrance. So it's not as sweet as Lyra, but it does have very simple notes. So you have candied lemon, a little bit of vanilla, and I think it does have a floral aspect to it, orange blossom. So it's very soft, but it's also refreshing, very beautiful, another great, great fall fragrance. So if you're into these, gourmand but not gourmand that are like way too sweet and you want to smell really good yummy and tempting you know what i mean like to get that attraction you're gonna love these type of fragrances i know i'm gonna smell like three different fragrances but who cares i love fragrances if you don't know i used to work for a fragrance house for a long long time i was even part of the management team of that house and I remember, I'm like, every time that I left out of that place, I smell like, like a, I was a walking flower, a, a walking cake. I mean, whatever you call it, but I smell like so many fragrances and I enjoy it. I think it's just about creating, you know, those memories or when a fragrance just really calls to you, it just brings back a memory, a moment, and just makes you feel either special or change your mood. There's just so many things about it. Okay, friends, I think let's go a little bit into makeup. Oh, no, before that, I want to mention that I tried this new Charlotte Tilbury water cream, and I'm so impressed. This is a great product. If you, for example, have done your entire skincare in the morning, you have used already your moisturizer, but then later on you need to do your makeup. I don't know, however your day takes you. This is a fantastic primer. It really, it really hydrates your skin. It feels like a drink of water for your skin without leaving any film. Your skin is gonna look glowy, but without any residue or like visual um, product on top of your face and this will work perfectly for anybody like I do have dry and then combination skin here in the middle of my um, on my cheeks on this area right here but I feel like this will work for 
someone that has normal combination, even oily skin too. It is a fantastic moisturizer and like I said, a fantastic product too as a primer. And in terms of actual primer, I love these Gucci illuminating drops, however you want to call it. To me, it's even better than the Charlotte Tilbury, the Flawless, um, Hollywood Flawless, whatever it's called. I have, um, I mean, I use it from time to time, but not really much. This one, you can use it all alone and it's not going to leave you like a tin man. It actually gives hydration. It's super thin, absorbing in a way too. And it just leaves a veil of perfection. And you see it here a little bit golden in tone. It's not going to change your skin tone to be golden. But it's actually just going to even it out and just make it a little bit more perfect. Give you a subtle glow with no shimmer or glitter particles. It's a really, really good product. And you just need very little amount. You can also use it as a spot highlighter. So say you have finished your makeup and you want just a little bit here and there, you can do so the same way as a primer. It's excellent too. And then one product that I use that is for my hair, you know, my friends, you know, I'm so happy the way that my hair has changed through the years. If you have watched my videos way back when, you know, it got to the point that my hair looked like hay. It was so, so bad. It, and now it's full of life. There's hydration. There is um, just shine on my hair. And it's just a lot healthier. I have been able to grow it. These are not extensions. This is actually my hair. And I really feel happy when I'm able to find products that just really make a positive change on my hair and i think i have a fair wow the wind i don't know if you heard that but it sounds like woo, but wow okay so anyhow uh, i'm just enjoying so much this gizu honey infused hair repair serum it leaves your hair so silky, manageable. I love the scent too. In fact, I tried also a little sample of the perfume and I really want to get it, hair perfume. Um, anyhow, this serum has a lot of hydration, but also it does have heat protection and UV protection. Something here, even if you use really good quality hair tools, right? you also want to protect your hair from the environment and that could be you know the sun damage just as it damage our skin it will damage also our hair etc and this is fantastic the only disappointment right here is you don't need to use a lot i will say put on your hand and then rub it really well so that way all the little burst particles of the honey just kind of burst um right but i feel like they needed to do a bigger size of these mostly for people like me that i have very long hair i use it from around this area all the way down fantastic product doesn't weigh your hair down like i said it makes it feel silky but it still remains my Natasha Denona I need a nude eyeshadow palette you know friends I love it I think this is perhaps the best or one of the best releases of the year same thing with my Chanel um, from the Byzance collection Parure Cristal I totally I'm, I'm in love and obsessed with this specific eyeshadow quad this shade in particular is something that if I was to have a brand I will do the same thing it's so good it just give you a very perfecting glamorous look with a mauve undertone that is just exquisite and then this beautiful hourglass face palette um this one is the lighter version but i customized it to have the cover of the owl because i love it so much so those were the things that i was using at the very beginning of september but then i you know started switching things around and one of those switches sorry let me get mm, a little sip i'm dirty right now Okay, is this hourglass palette. Now this one is a medium tone in the right case, in the right case in terms of like if you were to buy it at any retailer, which right now is available at many retailers actually. If you have a light to medium skin tone like myself, this is gonna be your go-to palette. The one, the lightest one to me gives me a very ethereal look, which pairs so well with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Eyeshadow Palette, as well as the Chanel Parure Crystal eyeshadow quad but this one is kind of like your no-brainer you know like 
uh, you use any kind of look, you have a light to medium skin tone, you go for these, you're gonna get, you know, a perfect look every time. Love the bronzer, but this new blush right here, wow, <laughs> what a difference. It's super, super good. And that is the magic of the Hourglass powders in general. They have this soft focus effect that makes everything look just very ethereal, nicely blend. It just gives you that elegant and classy look in an effortless way. Now talking about concealers, I try a few concealers. You know my friends, I have been enjoying so much this Gucci concealer for every day when I don't want to have, you know, not that it's too much makeup, but just to be a little bit more um, easy going. This is a really good one. It's very stretchy. So if you have fine lines underneath your eyes, this will kind of like move with your lines, but not gather in the lines. So I, I think this is a little bit underrated and I really love the amount of shades that it comes. But I also tried this new concealer by Lancome. It's the Year Serum Concealer. It's the one that I'm using today. Let me tell you something. I'm really enjoying it because it gave me a lot of hydration, something that I feel that I had been needing lately. Um, I'm just getting like it. It's almost the end of the wedding season, and if you don't know, I cater weddings, and then I do YouTube, and then I also do event planning, and it's, well, it's not going to end until the end of the end of December, because then after the wedding season ends, which is usually mid-November, then we go straight into the holidays. So it, it's always crazy, but I feel like it, it you know, it, it starts having kind of like a toll on my skin because you know all the running the craziness and you know the stress the late night you know um, chiefs that I have to work etc so this is really really nice if you want something that is skincare infused you can tell I mean you see there's some shine and it's even bouncing and you have that hollow area under my eyes but another thing that got me really impressed is the amount of for being a serum concealer, the amount of coverage that it has. I do have very dark under eye circles and I don't feel that I need a color corrector with this concealer. Obviously with most concealers, if you have dark under eye circles, I highly suggest you to pick a shade that is pretty much the same as your skin tone and a shade that has perhaps a peach undertone or depending on what type of correction that you're trying to do, right? But anyhow, Nonetheless, this is a really, really great concealer, also for a spot concealer. So if you want something that, you know, is not drying or perhaps you have some breakouts, but, you know, you have perhaps a scab and you don't want that to look extra dry, I would highly suggest you to look on this concealer. Now, the only thing that I'm finding a little bit of trouble is to find the right setting powder to go along with this concealer because you need to really let it set and dry to set it with a setting powder because if you go directly with a setting powder right away after you have blended in, it tends to kind of like, because it's a serum, it's kind of like trying to absorb or I, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's trying to get in a little bit just weird in some way and I know that could be a little bit of a turn off for you but I, I will I will come back here and let you know which powder works the best or otherwise follow here my suggestion is let it dry do the rest of your makeup and then when you're done with all your makeup then tap in any like it does, to me it doesn't increase and I do have a ton of fine lines under my eyes but it's, if, say, it creases a little bit on you, just tap it, tap it, and then set it. Because by that time, it's a little drier. And you know what? I will not even suggest to build it up. It doesn't need to. The coverage is really, really perfect. And for most of you, it's going to work really well if you have, you know, the regular kind of under eye circles, not like mine, that they look like panda. <laughs> Okay, friends. Oh, I have to tell you, I, I was going to tell you with um, Hourglass palettes that I had been loving these two brushes. These are from Chanel. Um, the numbers are 109 and 110. I use this one usually for bronzer and this one for blush. They are super soft. They are synthetic. And you know, my friends, I do have a ton of natural hair bristle brushes, but these also fit really well on those 
fans of the Hourglass palettes and they blend the product with EC in an airbrush manner too. And now let's go for the newest products that I have been trying. <laughs> this palette by Charlotte Tilbury, it is the Beauty Burst palette. Do you see what she does? Beauty Burst, because we are all into this technology era that is just crazy. But this palette is phenomenal. It's the one that I'm using today. It's mesmerizing. It does have a new formulation. The matte formula here is super emollient airbrush beautiful and thin very very thin it does have a slight sheen without being a satin matte formula but it looks super super natural these formulas are amazing and then all of these metallic shades right here they just have so much kapow that it's just incredible i love this palette i think this palette it will be amazing for any time of the year and even if you want to gift it to someone, they are going to love it. Not all, I mean, like the packaging is gorgeous, but the performance is what it's incredible. And this topper right here, it's fantastic. It makes your eyes look, your eyelids look like if they are wet. It reminds me a ton, a lot, a lot, a lot to the Makeup by Mario um, topper shades too. And some of that tone for once, talking about the Makeup by Mario, the I don't remember his palette name. It was limited edition, but he just brought it back. I think it's available at his website. I don't know. And perhaps even at Sephora, but highly suggest this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. She did a really, really outstanding job. And I know there's a second palette. Very like to this one that is coming soon. So that's going to be very, very exciting. Another two palettes that I just tried, but I want to mention it to you because I know as the weather gets a little bit cooler as we approach the holiday season. I know I'm going to be using them. And I'm talking about two beloved brands of mine, Chanel and Tom Ford. And these are from their holiday collection. So Chanel just came out with this beauty right here. This is just classy, classy Chanel with these taupe tones. Um, This shade right here, it's out of this world i'm like excuse me please it's just so so beautiful the performance there's no fallout so this is a palette that to me is classic it's something that everybody should have on their collection because although it may seem very cool tone yes indeed there's some coolness into it but it's more neutral more than anything and with this palette you can achieve very simplistic looks one and done eyeshadow looks and also those very smoky, intense looks that we are going to start seeing definitely for the holiday season. In that term too is this Tom Ford Lumière d'Hiver eyeshadow quad from the holiday collection, the Soleil Neige collection. I really love what Tom Ford has done on this eyeshadow. Also mesmerizing shades, very, um, not iridescent, but very ethereal kind of shades that look very classic and a lot of you may be wondering, wow, this is a very light shade. But you know what? If you want to create an all matte eyeshadow look, using just these two is fabulous. And this is a very unexpected shade because it may look brown in that palette. And although in terms it could be brown, it has an aubergine undertone that looks fantastic. And it actually caters for more skin tones. And that's something that if you are familiar with Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes, most of her eyeshadow palettes, if you notice, instead of a brown tone, she uses an aubergine tone. And she does so because it doesn't only complement more skin tones when a brown has that aubergine undertone, but it also is really, it shows more on those with deeper complexions. So if you're thinking that because you have a deep complexion or a medium tan complexion that you're not going to be able to use these, you are wrong. <laughs> That's all I want to tell you. And in terms of highlighters well again <laughs> the two brands chanel and tom ford these are also from the holiday collection this is such a beauty <laughs> such a beauty bath these on your skin i will say do not use them separately because this shade right here can be not super stark but too frosty at least for my personal preference but combining them both it just creates that you know, like when you, if you have tried that Garland Meteorites, that aura effect, that's what you're going to get with this. That is exactly what you're going to get with this. Also, if you're thinking more like, say, the Westman Atelier um, Peau de Peche 
um, super loaded tinted highlighter but in a powder version this is it but again use the whole thing now Tom Ford also came out with two gorgeous highlighters both of them are stunning but one that I don't know there's a je ne sais quoi here this one in specific Rose Ilse. it does have a little bit of a very light light pink almost imperceptible pink but it just adds that femininity to it and it's the one that i have today on my skin okay friends um in terms of blush like i said the one in our glass but also i tried the one from rms i mean i the three new shades but this one in particular is kind of like your no-brainer every day is crystal sleeper what a gorgeous everyday shade is that neutral that does everything perfect for you it does have a little bit of luminosity kind of like a luminizer but it doesn't have glitter or shimmer is very forgiving on texture and that's why these rms blushes are so trendy they are so hot they are so viral is because of that formula that you think and maybe afraid like oh it, it's kind of satin it's gonna you know like emphasize all my texture it doesn't it has a way uh, it's just a formula that is that is beautiful forgiven very well done and it brings more than anything juice to the skin and that is something that to me is priceless. Now let's talk really quick about nail polishes. I got right here the new nail polish by Chanel. This is from the Holiday Collection. The shade is um, white silk. It is like silk. It does have, you know how it's natural silk. That is when you get a natural silk blouse that is white, you're gonna notice that it's not fully and stark white. It's just gonna have a little bit of a milkiness to it not ivory but you know it does have that creamy kind of tone that is you know very very much of you know a natural silk and that's what you get from these now i do have three coats right here so you can get that gel like effect and very faded if you want to do a typical french kind of manicure with that white tip you can use one coat and that's it and you will get some of that milkiness translucency two coats it will give you again that gel kind of effect very natural very sophisticated i think um i, I don't like to really use you know <laughs> these trend that is going on this quiet luxury kind of idea to, to me it's just like really it's just um it makes no sense but if you're looking for something like that well this will give it to you a hundred percent i mean to me i i really um admire those who use a black nail polish but i i have tried to use very deep nail polishes and i have done so way in the past but for some reason um Everything that is natural, neutral to me, it is what, you know, it, it just makes my hand look more feminine, more elegant, and just, I don't know. It, they just make of my manicure look a little bit more polished and beautiful. Now, really quick right here, I will highly recommend you. You know, my friends, I use Chanel top coat, base coat, same thing with Hermes, but these by Light Slacker, don't let them pass. If you don't want to really spend too much money on a base coat, get this one. It's called So Clingy by Light Slacker. It really holds on that nail polish, whatever other brand you use. doesn't have to be necessarily from Light Slacker, but I suggest to check them out because the nail polish is really long lasting. It doesn't cheap, but these will really grab onto that nail polish and make your nail polish last longer. And then as a top coat, totally jelly. If you want to achieve this jelly kind of look, like if you have gone to, you know, to do your nails and they are gel-like, this will give it to you. And then, well, this is the second month that I'm going to mention it, but it has lasted so well that I just want to bring it to your attention. I tried the Manucoris, which is a French brand of nail polish, well, I should say gel nail polish. And I did my nails, and you have seen it in um, the videos of like perhaps even one week ago that I had these chrome nails. I did them at home because I enjoy changing my nail polish, the color. I have fun with that, right? And I tried the manicures and it's wow. Just simply wow. Super easy. 
and super long lasting. I usually tend to change my nail polish, not because I need to, because mine, they usually do not cheap. I can have them for two weeks straight and it should be fine. But, you know, because of the conveniency, I like to change them. Um, this one, I really didn't need to <laughs> because they were like just looking perfect from beginning to the day that I decided to take it off. Okay, my friends, um, is that it? Is that it? Yeah, I think this makes it for this video, my friends. Let's just continue that conversation in the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, what are you waiting for? I have been here sitting down doing videos for um, four years. So you're invited to do something that is completely free and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. It would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my Instagram which is new, hey Jacqueline here, and my TikTok because it will be fun to grow our family there too. So let's just get together. If you like this video, it will really help me too if you give it a thumbs up. That way other beauty lovers like yourself and myself, they can find about this channel. So give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends, why not? And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. And bye!